Now let us look at a common session related vulnerability called cross-site request posture. Here we have a demo banking application. I am going to log in as a regular customer. Typically, banking applications have a transfer functionality which can be used to transfer certain amount of money to and from an external account. So for this demo, I'm going to transfer $10 to demo account. So once I hit transfer, the transfer takes place. Uh, just to verify if the transaction went through, I'm going to go to another page where I can check the transaction history. So I see that $10 was transferred to demo and the current balance is $10 minus $10. So how would an attacker take advantage of this scenario? So uh, by using a technique called man in the middle attack, he can capture any request that goes between a client and the server. So this is the request under consideration. So this is what is used to transfer the ten dollars to the demo account. Uh, so once he has his hands on this request, he could craft another request and make a user click on a link to pull off his attack. So let's say you get an email from your bank that says uh, you try to withdraw some money from another country uh, please click on the link below to verify personal information so as a regular customer what would you do you would click on the link so let's see what happens when you click on the link so suddenly you see a message saying that you transferred hundred dollars to CSR of demo account so going back and looking at the statement uh, now you see that the current balance is minus 110 and another hundred dollars was transferred just by clicking on that link that the attacker sent you uh, so this is how an attacker would use this vulnerability to make a legitimate user perform an action on his behalf